It's day 144 of the project and this week is all about smelling great for less. And today's scent of the day is from Middle Eastern fragrance house Afnan. This one is called Supremacy Not Only Intense. And to find out my thoughts on this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 144 of my Fragrance 365 project where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today's featured scent is Afnan Supremacy, not only intense, uh, which came out in 2021 and it's a new and improved take on the Supremacy Silver uh, from back in 2013. Afnan is an inspired by fragrance house based out in the United Arab Emirates and they produce very high quality copies and inspired by takes of uh, designer and niche fragrances at very competitive prices. This particular fragrance is inspired by Creed Aventus uh, but it's not a, an out and out Creed Aventus clone. Uh, it has got a few different notes and it does actually have its own character. So let's start the video with a little bit of controversy and I'll go out on a limb by saying uh, I actually prefer how this smells to uh, the original Creed Aventus or uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armaf for that matter. So I might as well say goodbye to all you Aventus fanboys now that you're just about to click off the video uh, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm only joking. Um, I've actually never covered anything to do with Aventus or an Aventus clone on my channel so far because I just know how passionate and defensive some people get over it so I've avoided stoking the fires up until now uh, so this one is a, a bit on the pricey side for an Afnan fragrance and I think I paid about 56 quid for it from Notino uh, but they're currently out of stock and the cheapest I can see it for now online is uh, around about the £65 mark so it's not cheap uh, but it's still four times cheaper than the uh, £260-£275 uh, price tag of Aventus Yes, yeah, so into the presentation, and like I said, when I reviewed uh, Afnan 9pm uh, a couple of days ago, the one thing that really stands out for me with this brand compared to other Middle Eastern brands like Armaf and Rasasi is the quality of the presentation. The presentation on this particular fragrance is mind-blowing considering that the, uh, the price that you pay for it. Yeah, so let's start with the box and it comes wrapped in this uh, sparkly metallic pewter coloured outer sleeve with embossed branding. There's a supremacy logo and lower down is the name of the fragrance and the house and that's in uh, a mixture of chrome and red metallic. Even this outer sleeve is top quality but that's nothing compared to this beautiful high gloss piano black hard case uh, that the fragrance comes in. It's the kind of presentation you'd, you'd expect from a, a 10 grand watch and, uh, and not a 60 pound fragrance. Uh, the only downside is that the minute you start handling it, it gets full of fingerprints uh, and it takes away that Hollywood shine. On the front is the again is the name of the fragrance and the name of the house and on the side uh, is some more Afnan branding in chrome. On the back is all your product information uh, and the concentration which is an extra de parfum uh, which I'll get into in a, a bit later on. There's also uh, the, uh, this logo on the front here, uh, but it's not actually part of the box. And when you open this kind of door at the front, it's part of a, another fancy inlay card, um, which on the back again is uh, some kind of Afnan quality pledge of excellence stamped into it. Then finally, we arrive at the bottle, uh, which is mounted into a plush black velour, and it's finished in a, a metallic pewter colour. Uh, and just look at that. Uh, does that look like a £60 fragrance to you? It's absolutely unbelievable. The only negative downside uh, that I've found with the presentation it comes in the way of the cap. It just comes away a little bit too easy for my liking. Uh, and if you're tempted to pick it up from the hook at the top, um, I would never recommend that. Otherwise, uh, you are going to be dropping your bottle and the only thing that you're, that's going to be smelling of Aventus is your bathroom floor. Uh, there's a black atomizer and the spray quality is really smooth and even. And I've got to say that this would be uh, first class presentation for a £300 niche fragrance, never mind one at this price. Well done Afnan, 10 out of 10 for presentation. The top notes in this one are apple, blackcurrant and bergamot. 
in the heart there's oak moss patchouli and lavender and in the base there's ambergris musk and saffron Yeah, so this opens up with what is in my opinion the perfect balance of fruits and smokiness. The black currant and the bergamot produce a mouth-wateringly juicy opening that's both fresh and fruity, whilst the oak moss, the ambergris and the musk uh, bring that aventus, uh, smoky, woody and earthy vibe to the background. Aventus batches either used to lean a little bit smoky or you could get fruitier batches, uh, but this one just seems to be the perfect balance of the two. The Club de Nuit Intense clone is way too bitter for me personally and the opening is a little bit too synthetic and lemony. Testing these two side by side is a mismatch for me and the Afnan is way better quality than the Armaf in my opinion. Although this is the EDT version and apparently the EDP or the brand new Parfum is meant to be better quality uh, but I've just not got round to picking those, those two up yet. Uh, this is just way more smooth in my opinion, it's just more fruitier and more natural smelling than the Armaf. Uh, but unfortunately I no longer own a full bottle of Aventus and I used up my last bottle about a year, a year or so ago. Uh, but a friend of mine did very kindly give me a 5ml decant of his, uh, which is a 2020 formulation with a batch code of H11N. This again to me was more balanced and likeable uh, than the original uh, Aventus, which I just found a little bit too dry after about the hour mark. Uh, but the main difference uh, for me was the performance, which uh, I'll get into in a minute or so. Now this is where it gets interesting for me because when I'd wear this personally is a, a bit of a difficult one because Aventus back in the day was a really high class fragrance and you would wear it for a classy dressed up event but since all the clones have come out uh, and it's just everywhere it's kind of diluted the credibility of the Aventus uh, scent DNA in my opinion. Just a couple of weeks ago I went to a, a car garage for a tyre pressure sensor replacing on my car and the young lad who fit it was about 17 years old and he was just dressed head to foot in oily overalls and he literally reeked of the Aventus scent DNA. He was probably wearing uh, Club de Nuit Intense Man but even if it was the real Creed Aventus I would probably just still think it was the clone anyway and there lies the problem. It's just become a cheap smelling scent DNA that I'd no longer wear for a night out because it's just too recognisable and it's just way too loud and shouty to wear uh, as a casual daily driver during the daytime so unfortunately I'm kind of lost as to when I'd ever reach for it anymore uh, but I suppose maybe in the cooler days of spring or early autumn if I was heading outdoors because it does still smell really nice um, it's just that everybody now knows what it is or thinks you're wearing a clone of it. Yeah, again, this is another Afnan fragrance with nuclear performance and it blew both the original Aventus and the Club de Nuit Intense Man out of the water when I tested them. Just watch any review on YouTube and everyone will say the same thing. This stuff is a 24 hour fragrance and if I sprayed it on one hand and the Club de Nuit or the original on the other, it would just overpower them by quite some distance. It is a projection beast, it lasts until you get a bath or until you put your clothes in the washing machine uh, but once you've sprayed it you'll never need to reapply it again in the same day. Yes, yeah, so if you enjoy the Creed Aventus scent DNA then in my opinion this is the ultimate Aventus inspired fragrance. I haven't smelled every clone out there, but out of the ones I have tested, this stands head and shoulders above them all, with a really pleasant and balanced uh, fruity scent character, and boy does it perform. The presentation is the icing on the cake for me, and this is the reason why I could never buy the original ever again. Like I said earlier, it's not the cheapest inspired by fragrance out there, uh, but it's got to be one of the best, and for that reason it gets a straight 10 out of 10 for all round value from me. Yeah, so once again that's about it for today's scent of the day, but coming up in the next episode is the last of the cheapies, and it's another Middle Eastern clone fragrance, which is one of the most accurate clones that you'll find, so you don't want to miss that one. And as always, if you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any uh, future uploads. 
It's also great to hear your opinions, your thoughts and your critiques on all other fragrances that featured in this 365 project. So don't forget to keep your comments coming down in the comments section. There's also another 143 videos now, I believe, in the project. And there's a dedicated playlist in the home page of my channel. So if you haven't watched them all, go and check the other ones out. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye-bye for now.